Hello everybody and welcome back. Lars here and to start things off we have a Jellicent. Now with Jellicent there's two ways they play it. They either throw bubble beams and then a shadow ball or they just go straight shadow ball. Now Jellicent is a rare Pokemon to see in Great League. Uh, it had its heyday a few seasons ago and now if you're going to see Ghost most likely you will see Trevenant or of course Sableye. We're going to switch to Victory Belt, get a few attacks in, they're switching to Galarian Stunfisk. This is going to be a rock slide, and I know just from lots of experience, it's not going to kill us. So we're going to go ahead, let it hit us, and throw a Leaf Tornado. Now we're doing this because we want to uh, make them burn as many shields as possible while retaining ours. Victory Bell is down. We're going to throw Metacham in. The best they can do here is a rock slide. It's not going to do that much damage to us. Go ahead, tank it. And now we're going to go and throw a Psychic against Jellicent. They don't have any shields left, and so that is that. Last Pokemon. Now, Meganium is a rare find. It had its heyday, much like Jellicent, a few seasons ago. But due to other grass types available, it has kind of fallen by the wayside. And with that, it's the end. And we're on to the next battle. Now, we have Pelipper. Pelipper, a very common sight in this league. We go ahead, we switch just as they switch. They go ahead and they switch to Steelix. Now, Steelix was super popular during the Catch Cup of last season. This season, not as popular. It has an earthquake there. Was expecting it to try to use Psychic Fangs, but you know, whatever. We tanked it and we we're able to kill it no problem without using any shields. Pelipper, it comes back in. We're going to throw Power Up Punch just to get one last attack off right before we are KO'd. And then we, of course, bring in Bastiodon. Now, Pelipper does know Weather Ball, but it's not going to do as much damage, even though it's super effective. They switch to a Pokemon, um, Aurorus, and man, haven't really seen it. I heard it's being used a lot for the Remix Cup. We are weak to each other, which of course means that um, we're going to kill it because we're using Razor Leaf. I decided not to use my charge move there because they do have another shield or two shields. So I wanted to kill it as quickly as possible and didn't want to give up an extra fast move. Although it wouldn't really have mattered because it is over. All right, and now we have a Sumerail. So I'm going to switch to Metacham right off the bat. They are switching to Sableye. Now, the trick with Sableye is most people will use a foul play and they will finish Metacham off with their fast move. This is because they can double charge foul play this way, so for the second and third time, um, they can use it back to back. All right, we're going to use Power Up Punch and Psychic to do as much possible to Sableye. Of course, we're not going to be able to kill it. And here they're using foul play, and then they're going to go ahead and get one more off before we KO it. And there it is. Sableye is down. So they're going to go ahead and they're bringing in a Zumero. We're going to use a Stone Edge. And as soon as we use that Stone Edge, we are switching to Victory Bell. There it is. They're going to get an Ice off. Um, use your shield, obviously. We want to protect Victory Bell at all costs. Here comes Glaring Stunfisk. Going to use a Leaf Tornado here. And we got super lucky because it broke its attack. They're going to throw a Rock Slide. We're going to go ahead, let it hit us. No big deal because their attack is weakened. They throw another one. We're going to shield this one because we don't want to die. We're going to return the favor, throw another Leaf Tornado. They are going to use their last shield and hit us with a Rock Slide. Luckily, we get another attack break. And so their attack is so, so weakened that we can get a few more punches off on a Sumerail before we kill it. And that is that. Game over. And next up, we have a Lantern, super popular this season. Uh, it goes without saying, I switched to Metacham, and they switched to Noctowl. Now, I have changed up my strategy a little bit. Here, you'll see me use Power Up Punch and then Psychic. What I want you guys to do, as you'll see later in the video, is to charge up Psychic, use Power Up Punch, charge it back up, and then use Psychic. Now, it's just a chance of them uh, baiting them and getting them to use two shields versus just one. So that's that. We're going to farm Noctowl down. Not going to use a charge move and not going to shield. All right, Noctowl is down. They're bringing back in Lantern. Use that Stone Edge. Luckily, it doesn't resist it. It is neutral. 
we are switching to Victory Bell and they are switching to Pelipper. Now, this ABB flying team, you're going to see a lot of it early in the season. I think it'll drop off later on. Regardless, we're going to throw that Leaf Tornado. There it is. They let that Pelipper die. And now they realize it is over. And here we have, of course, Lickitung. Now, as I mentioned in earlier videos, with Lickitung, you want to throw two Stone Edges, two charged moves. If they shield either the first one or second one, after the second Stone Edge, we immediately, immediately switch to Metacham. All right, we're going to go ahead, keep on charging. They're going to get one more Vine Whip off. No problem. We're going to tank it. I'm sorry, Power Whip. <laughs> We're going to throw that stone edge there it is and then boom switch to metacham they will switch to knockdown as mentioned in the last battle don't do this charge up psychic use power up punch and then charge back up psychic and use psychic just trying to fake him and bait him because you will get that psychic off before they get another flying move or before they kill you knockdown doesn't shield Lickitung is in. We switch to Victory Bell. Going to shield this just to be safe. There it is. And then they switch to Altaria. And it is going to be close. But in the end, we are able to win. Just because, as many of you know, with Bastiodon, there are two things he resists. And I mean really resists. One is poison and two is flying. They use the shield there. And now we have to get one last attack off. And there it is, game over. All right, and now we have another Lantern lead. So we're going to switch to Metacham, and of course, here comes Noctowl. Again, don't use this strategy. Charge up the Psychic first, and use Power Up Punch to fake him out, and then charge it back up and actually use Psychic. You'll see it in a couple more videos. So we're going to use Psychic here. There it is. They shield, of course. No problem. We're going to bring in Bastiodon. Bastiodon's just going to farm that Noctowl down. Do not shield and do not use any charged moves. They do something really weird. They switch to Swampert. And they throw, obviously, a Hydro Cannon. We're going to let it hit us. Finish off Swampert. They bring back in Noctowl. No problem. They shouldn't have used a charge there because we get a freebie in, a free fast move. Noctowl is down. And then boom, we're going to use a Leaf Tornado. They use their last shield. And we're able to do enough damage to where Bastiodon can come in. And even though we're weak to water, he can tank a few hits, get that Stone Edge off, and then kill it before, obviously, it KOs us. So yeah, it's over for now. Um, going to let this one hit us, and the next one we're just going to shield. All right, there's the shield, and that is that. Next battle. All right, so we have Galarian Stunfisk. We're going to go ahead and immediately switch to Victory Bell. Here comes Pelipper. Now, I hate to do this, and I hate to use two shields early, but we're going to have to. So, shield this one. Throw that Leaf Tornado. Pelipper's going to shield. They're going to get one last Weather Ball off just as they're about to die. Shield it so we gain the lead. There it is. Pelipper is down, and here comes Galarian Stunfisk. There it is. That's going to kill us with its fast. We're going to bring in Metacham. Of course, they are going to use an Earthquake against us, which is practical. But unfortunately, their last Pokemon is Venusaur. Now, we're going to use that Psychic. I don't want to bait him. Don't want to risk it, because they'll kill us anyways before we can get the Psychic off if we tried to bait. So, they shielded, throwing in Bastiodon. Now, they're going to get two Frenzy Plants off here which is just fine. I even do a couple extra fast moves to make sure they get that second Frenzy plan off because I don't want to have too much health. Don't want Galarian Stunfist to come in and get an Earthquake off and then farm me down for another Earthquake to kill my Metacham. There it is. And game over. There's the Flamethrower and we're done. All right, so we have a Trevenant. Now, normally Trevenant stays in this person switches. They don't get the switch when I'm going to throw my flamethrower. So I'm able to save that charged energy. They switch to lantern. We, of course, switch to victory bell. 
Now, the best Lantern can do is one Thunderbolt or two Surfs, neither of which will kill Victory Bell. So there is no need to shield against Lantern if you are Victory Bell. All right, going to throw the Leaf Tornado. They brought out Registeel. Just going to keep plugging away. Use that Leaf Tornado again. There it is. Go ahead, obviously, we're going to let Victory Bell rest in peace. It's done an amazing job. We're going to bring in Metacham to finish off Registeel. They switch. We switch. There it is. We're going to go ahead. We tank it. We're going to throw the Flamethrower. They're going to shield, obviously. We're going to charge it back up. Now, what we're trying to do here is we are trying to kill this Trevenant. Whatever we do, we have to make sure Bastion stays alive for at least a little bit. So they use their last shield. We're going to go ahead and we're going to let them hit us. We know it's a seed bomb. It can't be anything else. They bring in Registeel. At this point, it's over, but I think they're just practicing switching. So there it goes. And now we're going to use one final power-up punch to end it once and for all. And that's that. Game over. All right, and now it's time for the next battle. Let's do it. We have Arbastion versus an Umbreon. So with Umbreon, we typically want to preserve Bastiodon. Bastiodon can beat Umbreon. However, the amount of health Bastiodon will have left isn't all that hot. So what we want to do is we want to try to preserve Bastiodon in the event that they have a flyer in the back. Because, man, we do not want to get caught with Bastiodon having low HP and having a Metacham and Victory Bell against a full health flyer uh, such as Skarmory or Altaria. Not good. They're throwing their last attack. No problem. Going to use ours. There it is. Going to quick switch to Metacham, and they quick switch to their Metacham at the same exact time. So throw that Psychic. No problem. They shield. We're going to go ahead and let this one hit us. They use an Ice Punch, so we were able to call their bluff. Going to go ahead and let this one hit us as well. Going to use a Psychic against them. There it is. And they don't shield when we get the Defense Break. And then, of course, one last Power Up Punch just to lower their health. It won't kill them, but it will be enough to where... Um, Victory Bell can come in and just kind of boop. So quick switch at the end to Bastiodon just to save our shields because we it's going to be close if we don't. There we go. Going to shield this one. I know it's a seed bomb, but we don't uh, want to take that hit. Here comes the second seed bomb. Boom, another shield. And now Trevenant is down, and now it's just a matter of cleaning up, doing a couple fast attacks each. There's one and two. And game over. All right, so they have a Wish Cache, Rare Sight. We switched to Metacham. And this is what I was talking about. You want to charge up this Psychic. Go ahead, let this one hit us. Now use that Power Up Punch. They didn't fall for it, but who knows? Someone else might. And so before we die, we are going to throw an actual Psychic. So charge up the Psychic, use Power Up Punch, and charge up Psychic and use Psychic. And we got him. So we have gained the lead. Metacham is down, but here comes Victory Bell. Now, Wishcash does no Blizzard, as you'll see in a few seconds. And so use that shield. Now we have Glyscore. Shield it. We're good. We are weak to their fast move, but we can do enough damage to where it doesn't really matter. And it is game over. All right, and here we go. We have a Toxapex. Now... For those of you that did Catch Cup, Toxapex was all over the place, period. Now in Open Great League, though, very rare sight. I believe this is the only one we've seen so far. Going to go ahead, throw that Stone Edge. Now, Toxapex is very, very bulky, very tanky, but that comes at a price. And that price is not a very high attack. That coupled with Brine, uh, Brine being a very weak water attack just makes it to where even though Bastiodon is weak to water, we can go ahead and beat it. Quick switch in Victory Bell right there just to finish it off. Boom. 
going to use a Leaf Tornado against this Metacham. They're going to shield. And then, of course, they're going to use their attack. We're going to shield it. They use a Psychic, which was actually kind of rare. I was expecting them to use an Ice Punch or at least take us out with a Power Up Punch. They bring in Lantern, but it's over and they quit. All right, and now we have a Bastionon versus Bastionon, a mirror match. So I am totally jealous. They get a shiny Bastionon with good IVs. But anyways, what we're going to do is focus on winning. So this person does a great job. They're going to use the Flamethrower. Our goal here is to double charge, or rather get a charge in three quarters of Flamethrower. So we want to have that energy stacked at all times. So once it gets stacked, use the Flamethrower. Charge it back up. We're going to use a flamethrower again on the third time where you're going to charge it up we're going to let the opponent use theirs and as soon as they use it we are going to switch to metacham and get a few fast moves off there they go and now boom switch they're going to switch to victory belt we're going to use a psychic here just to be careful we want to burn their shields there it is and they're going to use a charge move don't do anything, don't shield, just let it hit us and we're good. Bring in Bastiodon and use that Stone Edge or Flamethrower, whatever you'd like to use. That is that. And now, waiting down, and then we're going to use a Flamethrower against this Metacham. There it goes. And then immediately switch to Victory Bell. We're going to shield everything because we have to keep Victory Bell alive. Now, they have a charge move ready to go with Bastiodon. We're going to shield this as well. There we go. And then we're going to finish off Bastiodon. So I accidentally hit the Leaf Tornado. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying just to kill them with my fast move. But regardless, it's over. They quit. They did an amazing job. All right, and now we have a Swampert lead. So that means we're going to switch to Metacham. They are bringing out Skarmory. Going to go ahead and I'm going to play the mini game about half. Do a little bit of damage. Going to keep punching away at Skarmory because I don't want them to uh, kill me with them having a tiny bit of health left. That is not a problem though. We can bring Bastiodon in and we're just going to farm like crazy. There we go. Obviously, we're not going to shield. We're not going to do anything except for farm them down. They get one last charge move off. No worries. Get a Brave Bird. And now they're going to bring in Swampert. Use that charged move. There's one. Since we had double charged it, we're going to use another one. There's number two. And then immediately switch to Victory Bell. Boom. There's a hit from Victory Bell. They are bringing in Walrein. It's pretty much over. We're going to shield this one and then Swampert's going to come out. We'll shield that one. Remember, um, Walreen, eat the shield, use a shield, and just kill Walreen with your fast. You'll be good. That's that. Game over. All right. Now we have another mirror match for us. Not a shiny one this time, but still a mirror match. I think this person lagged a little bit. They switched to Shadow Venusaur. We're going to go ahead, throw that flamethrower. They're going to shield. They're going to return the favor and use a Frenzy Plant. Now, Frenzy Plant, obviously, from Shadow Venusaur is going to hurt, but we are going to go ahead and tank it. We can't do that a second time like a normal Venusaur, so be wary of that. We shield the second one. Going to throw this Flamethrower. There it is. They use their last shield. We're bringing in Victory Bell. We know this is going to be a Frenzy Plant. There it is. And now they quick switch to Bastiodon. There we go. Leaf Tornado, just seeing what we can do. There it is. We're going to bring in Metacham and just pound away with our fists. Go ahead, don't use any charge moves, just keep punching away. They have zero shields, and so any charge move that we use, they are going to have to accept. So go ahead, use that power up punch just to boost our attack because Deoxys is or resists both of our charged moves. So I wanted to power up that Psychic. Now, shield this, absolutely, because every time they use Psycho Boost, it's going to cut their attack. So that means if I had to bring Bastion on in, um, two attack cuts, 
plus the fact that they don't get stab, same type attack bonus, means that that move would be so weak, Bastionon would be just fine. And that's it. All right, time for the last battle of the day. I want to thank you all for watching. We're going to go ahead, quick switch to Victory Bell. They bring in Sableye, just like Walreen. Use a shield, kill it with your fast, save that charged energy. There's their charged move. We're going to go ahead, kill it, KO it, whatever you want to say. Now we're going to use that Leaf Tornado. There we go. And they're going to go ahead and they are going to shield it. They brought in Lantern, which is a little bit of a weird choice. We're going to shield their Surf. That way they have no other choice. They could have... Uh, let this kill their lantern, but to be honest, um, yeah, there's not much at this point that they could do. We're going to use power up punch just because a lantern's attack is weakened, so this thunderbolt isn't going to hurt us that bad. B, we want our power up, we want it up because when their metacham comes in, as it just did, it's going to use psychic and their psychic won't kill us, but our psychic, now that it's been powered up, it's going to take them into the deep red, about as much HP loss as ours. So check it out. There it is. And now we're just focusing on doing as much damage as possible. Going to throw one last power up punch. Not going to kill them, but going to get them really low so we can bring Victory Bell in and we kill each other. All right. Now it's over. Bastiodon's in, and that's it. Thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful day.